What's happening, folks? Back with another reaction. Back with some more Frida, and we're going back to her 1982 album, Something's Going On. And the next track is You Know What I Mean. When I looked at the title, my brain thought of three different possibilities. There's one where you're trying to recall something and you're hoping someone can prompt you or come in with the crucial term that eludes you. It's like, you know what I mean, what is the... Then there's the you know what I mean, as in we don't even need to describe it or discuss it in detail because we both emotionally or just interpersonally understand it, you know what I mean. And then there's the more critical and perhaps venomous rendering that's like, you know what I mean, don't pretend you don't, don't pretend that you are ignorant about this. So if it's one of those, I don't know, maybe I would lean toward the latter, but uh, obviously it could have meaning separate or independent from any of those possibilities. Let's see what I can pick up on a first listen. This is Frida, the tune is You Know What I Mean, and it's from her 1982 album, Something's Going On. <laughs> It's funny, I reacted to an Onyeta tune tonight that seemed to be conceptually the polar opposite of this. Someone came into her life and it's like light shining on her, she's completely into it, she hopes they grow together, she can't even imagine a life without this person. This one sounds like it's someone who used to hold particular significance to her, left, now is coming back, and it's an intrusion, which is funny because it felt like it was the second rendering The you know what I mean, we don't even need to explain, we don't even need to talk about this because you know exactly what I mean, but in a critical way. The idea that if, you know, I need to put the pieces back together, I'm trying to live my life, you need to leave me, leave me alone, you can't just come back in and expect that somehow this is going to start again or that I need to drop everything or I need to you know, take those pieces of my life and give them back to you. So it sounds critical and in a way sharp, not the way it's expressed vocally, not the way the sonics come across, but a very clear message that, you know, I'm just trying to find my way again. This is not welcome. You know what I mean because you know what happened before. So maybe I'm reading that wrong, but that seemed to be the sentiment that she wants to keep going on her own 
but perhaps is aware of the danger of this person trying to re-interject into her life. So I did enjoy the soft plucked strings. I was wondering, you know, were they violins played plucked? Were, was it actually a harp? It didn't have that strummed quality that you often hear with a harp, so maybe it's not a harp, maybe it was just plucked. But either way, I enjoyed the soft, intimate setting of the tune, which felt like her emotional condition and trying to protect that. So it felt like there was some expression of the attitude through the sonics. Again, a very short one. It feels like it's a very clear and direct message. She's not beating around the bush, so to speak. So a soft and lovely tune. I do wonder uh, what people have to say about this one. Uh, in part because that seemed to be the message, but sometimes there's like a line or two that I end up uh, taking a different direction. So let me know what you think, and I'll see you next time. Peace.